So guys, for the first step, you're going to get into this screen. Now to get here, you're going to turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you're going to turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You're going to repeat this three times. So, you want to turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you want to turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You want to repeat this three times. And then on the fourth time when you turn your computer on again, it will then take you into this screen. It's going to say that your PC did not start correctly, you want to click on advanced options. And now once you're on this, I'm going to be showing you three different ways and how you can fix this problem. So for the first method, you want to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then start to prepare. If you do not see start to prepare, then you want to click on seam recovery options. Then it should appear right here. So you want to click on start to prepair. It's now going to start diagnosing your PC, wait for this to load. And now hopefully this will have fixed your problem. If not, that's fine, we're going to click on advanced options. And now for the second method, you want to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then system restore. If you have any restore points enabled on your computer, then you want to click on next and then go back to your restore point. This should now fix your problem. If you don't have any restore points, that's fine, we're going to click on cancel. And now for the last method, you want to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then command prompt. And then once you're on this, you want to type in SFC space forward slash scan now and then click on enter. Then you want to run this scan. Wait for this to load. I'm going to skip the video to when the scan will be fully completed. And then once that's been done, you now want to type in chkdsk space c colon space forward slash f space forward slash r. Click on enter. You now want to run this scan as well. Wait for this to load. The scan is going to take 10 minutes for me to complete, so I'm just going to get off this right now. But in your case, you want to fully complete the scan. Once you fully complete the scan, you now want to close out of this. Now you want to continue to Windows and then the problem should be fixed.